let me just start this record. Okay, Belle, it's my first time to, to meet you. Did, did you have uh, another teacher for this class before? Um, no. Am I your first teacher for this book? Yes. Okay, happy to meet you. And can you tell me something about yourself? Like your city, how old are you, your hobbies, anything you'd like to share? Right, uh, my name is Belle and I'm 12 years old. I'm still in primary school, grade six. Grade six. Um, I like sports, like such as running and jumping the ropes and so on. And I like drawing and writing too. Um, I like writing novels best. Oh, you're writing novels. Is it in English or in Chinese? Uh, both. Both. Wow, I'm really interested. Could, could you tell me something about what you're writing right now? Like what, what the story is about? Yeah, uh, it's about uh, a wizard world and it's uh, sort of like Harry Potter and like that. It's all about witches and wizards and those things happening in the magical world. Okay. Are you writing it online? Like, are you uploading each chapter to a web-based platform? Or are you just writing it in your computer? Uh, I'm writing it by hand on paper. Oh, nice. Okay. Good. So, are you planning to show your, your novel to anybody in the future? Like to your um, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm very interested in that, so please keep, keep me updated about your book, okay? Okay. All right, so I see that you're taking CAE writing, is that right? Yeah. I, yeah, CAE. I don't have the cover of this book. Is it Communication Arts English? CAE? Uh, I'm not sure that, what it is. All right, so you were given this this question beforehand, right? Do you see my, my, my screen share? Yes. So you recently heard a discussion. Oh, okay, hold on a bit. You recently heard a discussion about the dangers of addiction to social networking. And the, oh, by the way, before we continue, what kind of social networking platforms are you familiar with or or are you using? Uh, I'm familiar with QQ and WeChat. QQ and WeChat. What sort of, of media do you share on QQ and WeChat? Like, uh, all those friends are on the platform and you can share your pictures and photos to take and where did you go traveling or having or have fun and you can share it on mm -hmm. are they the same are they almost how does how is qq different from social media um oh, I think, sorry. Uh, how is qq different from wechat how are they different like and um, they're both some um, network for chattering, but um, they're made by different people, and but they're very similar, yeah. But all people do know them, and um, almost every people have them. Mm, almost every people. You can say almost every person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost every person had those kind of network. Yeah, they're almost, you mean almost everybody in China is on WeChat or QQ? That's what Yes. I, yeah, okay. By the way, when you use every, the word that, that follows every should be a singular, a singular word. For example, 
instead of saying every people, you say every person. So if you say, ev so which one is correct? Every child or every children? Every child. Yeah, every child. So it's always every and a singular word. Okay, so let's go back to this question though. It says here that there are dangers to, to social networking. What dangers did you, did you see from uh, you saying WeChat or QQ? Did you see any, any, did you feel any sort of danger to addiction when you were using these, these two platforms? And um, where, well, some of my friends um, are facing some kind of those dangers and it's like they're spending uh, a lot of time on those um, chatting network and networks and they're not paying attention to their studies and they just uh, their schools just fall and they uh, like just can't control themselves against to um to fight against those uh those funny things on the qq or wechat and they still keep chatting with other students okay yeah so their studies were affected right yeah what what do what do you think makes it addictive? Um, because there's always uh, new messages and new kinds of uh, those magazines and comics on the internet and those uh, those pictures the friend those friends are sending. So they're always paying attention to them. Okay, yes, you're right. That's a good point. So every time a message pops up, do you hear a, a bell? Do you hear a, yeah. a sound, right? And it makes you want to keep looking at your phone all the time, every time you hear the sound. Okay, so it says here, you have a few notes here. It says uh, there are three options. Can you read the three options on the, on the page? Yeah. One, the young take the take responsibility. Two, parents take control. Three, the social networks introduce controls. Okay, what's the what is the opinion connected to number one? Um the young take responsibility. Um uh, it's like um more under age children are taking care of themselves and their uh they their parents are very busy out working so they have to um look after themselves for homework and um living and school so on so mm, and they may own their own uh, smartphones but uh, usually they can't control themselves to to not use it and concentrate on doing their homeworks. So many, many of those are at, uh, are all at school age and therefore they don't pay much attention to their studies. And so they get, and so their scores get worse. Okay, so this is not a successful option, right? Because children are too young to mind themselves. So number two, parents take control and they need to be aware of the problem. So simply, what is, how do you explain that idea in a very simple way? In just one sentence, what do the parents need to do? Um, parents need to control kids not playing their smartphones okay. all the time. Yes. And it says there that parents need to be aware of the problem, right? Yes. Is there a chance that some parents don't know what's happening at all? Yeah, some kids may not tell their parents and they uh, may play their smartphones or do other things instead of doing their homeworks. Mm -hmm. How is it possible for a parent not to notice this kind of thing? Um, because um, parents are always working and busy 
They are always not at home. Some parents, and they don't have time to look after their children, so they don't know what's happening to them and give all the job to them and for themselves to do. Okay. Good. Yes. All right. So the last point is that social networks need to have they need to have controls, but. They're unlikely to help. How can you explain that? Um, like it's because social net networks is what that interest their uh those students and ch children are interested in. Uh, even though they have controls on those social networks to, uh, like, to warn those students and people not to. Pay attention to those social networks. So, um, so like rapidly, and they don't stop doing that. But instead, those networks uh, still pops out new messages and the news that in um take to those interest on those children. So they're unlikely to to help them. Though they had those controls to introduce. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Okay. So, you know, how how do you think social networks make money? Um.、Mm -hmm. Like. Uh. They have more uh interesting, like comics and news that. Interests many people and make people to look at them,、okay. to spend time on them, and、uh, when those people get their interest on those social networks, they start to um like um you you must pay money to look it, so those people may just um get their money. And still look at those social networks and news. Okay. Yes. The the more people use social networks, the more time people spend on these social networks, the more money they make. Because that's if people use them a lot, then that's their、uh, source of income. So social networks won't really help you control your addiction, right? They they won't、yeah. help you because they're making money from your addiction. Do you agree, Bell? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're very clear about what the what the question is and what the、uh, what we could possibly say about each of those three points that were introduced. So let's take a look at your homework.、And、okay. Let's see how well you were able to explain the the points and how we can improve them. So I'm going to stop this share, and I'm going to give you a new page to share. So do you see this? This is your homework, right? Yes. Okay. Recently, I had a discussion about the dangers of addiction. To social networking, what is what is a discussion?、Um, a discussion is like、um, those、uh, like communications and advices about、um, the social networking, like、uh, um, what people said about it. Okay. Yes, you're right about the part. It's communication. Can you have a discussion by yourself? No. No, you have to talk to someone, right? So, if you were to improve this this sentence, you need to put in who who you were having a discussion with. Uh, uh when I'm handwriting, I think I wrote her, not had. I think、oh. I typed wrong. Okay, hold on a bit. Recently, I had a discussion about the dangers. Which which part? Can you use the annotation to write something 
on the paper to tell me what you meant? Uh, I mean... I'm looking uh, for pen. Mm, spotlight eraser. Um, the, that um, hat is... I wrote heard, I think. Which part? Recently, I had a discussion. You can just say, I had a discussion uh, with... Recently, I heard a discussion about the dangers of addiction. Oh, heard is what you mean. Okay. So, you would need to... You would need to change this part then, right? Recently, I heard a discussion. Okay, that makes more sense. I heard a discussion. So I, I guess you're taking down notes on your paper with a pen? Are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I heard a discussion about the dangers of addiction to social networking. So you're going to insert heard here somewhere. Okay. Nowadays, all right. So what do you think about your first paragraph? Are you satisfied with with this paragraph or, or not? How do you feel about it? Um, I think, um, okay. Okay, all right. So let's talk about that later on. But for now, let's look at your sentences and how clearly they, they sound. Let's go to the next part. Can you read the next paragraph? Uh, is the third paragraph? The next one is the second paragraph. Oh, okay. Nowadays, more under 18 children are taking care of themselves. Um, uh, I think uh, I've typed the, the words wrong. I think I wrote, they may own a cell phone, not name on a cell phone. Mm, okay, let's take a look. A bit more closely. What, when I write, I wrote, they may own a cell phone, not name on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, as you can see, Belle, if you type your, your text accurately, we can focus on your, your sentences a bit more. So here, nowadays, more under 18 children. Try, try to correct that. How would you correct that phrase? More under 18 children. It should be what? It's not more under 18 children. What should it be? Nowadays, it should be more children under 18. Do you, do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, it should be... Okay, I'm trying to put the text here. Do, do you see the highlight that I'm making? Yeah. More children under 18. All right, do you see the difference? So it's yeah. just basically improving the your phrase so it doesn't sound more awkward. So more children under 18 are taking care of themselves. Now, how do you, how are you going to correct the part about name on a cell phone? What was your um, original intention? They may own a cell phone. Oh, it should be they may own a cell phone. I yeah. see. Okay. Um, because I'm just typing it um, like when I read it. I read it on the um, like the file. Uh huh. And Here's the words wrongly. Okay. Yeah. So, in order to improve on that part, what you must do is before you submit your homework, you have to read through your article one more time. Right? So, yeah. after you write something, you read it all over again, then you look for the, the parts that may be wrong and then correct it. We call it editing. And then after you edit your work, what do you do? Hmm. Publish. Not yet, not yet. After you edit, 
you have to read it one more time one more time and so you have to check for the small things like your punctuation marks you have to check if you have uh, your your periods your question marks your uh, you know, the spacing between your words should be correct and the spacing between the, the paragraphs should be the same for every, every paragraph. So that's called proofreading, okay? Okay. So based on that, how many times should you look at your work after you write it? Three. Three is a good number. But there's, there's no limit. There's no limit to the number of times you can look at your work. You can even read it 10 times. Just keep reading it if you have enough time to do it all over again. And that would help you make your, your, your work perfect. Okay? Okay. Okay, so, uh, so let's go back to this paragraph. Nowadays, more children under 18 are taking care of themselves. And they may, they may own a cell phone. Right? That is your original intention. But the problem is that they cannot control themselves against social networking. Okay? The problem okay. is they can't control themselves against social networking. Many of those kids are at school age. Mm, okay, let's go to this part. Many of those kids are at school age. So I think this, this sentence is not really necessary because the children that you're talking about, we already assume they're school age because it's very unlikely for younger children to who are not even old enough to go to school, is very unlikely that they would have a cell phone. Do you agree or not? Yeah. Yeah. For example, uh, you're 10, right? 10 or 11? 12. Yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry, 12. Belle, you're 12. Has your, have your parents given you a cell phone? No. Not yet. See, you don't even have a cell phone. So... I think it's very unlikely for maybe three or four year olds to have a cell phone either. So we don't need the sentence that many of those kids are at school age because we were sort of assuming they're already at that age where they're old enough to have a phone. So they're old enough right. for school. So you can just go ahead and delete that. Okay. You can delete it or you can change it to another you know, add in another sentence and say something else, say something new. So maybe we can just strike this out. Therefore, they don't pay much attention to their studies, okay? The problem is they can't control themselves with social networking, so they don't pay too much attention to their studies. No students usually end up playing smartphones and giving uh up Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, uh, I type wrongly, it's those students, I think. Okay, those students, <laughs> all right. So you can see now, Belle, how important it is to check your work. So yeah. those, those students usually end up playing with, right, playing with their smartphones and giving up their studies. They can't control themselves. So you can stop here. You can stop at this part. No student, those students usually end up playing with their smartphones and giving up their studies. You can stop here. And then you can start a new sentence here. They can't control themselves. Do you know why? Because you have, you have one end here and you have another end there. In one sentence, 
it's better if you only have one, one of these words. Not two ends, but just one end. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Those students usually end up playing, playing with their smartphones and neglecting their studies. I'm going to give you a new word here. Uh, let's put in the text and neglecting their studies, their studies, neglect, instead of giving up their studies, well, what do you think is the difference between neglecting and giving up? Uh, giving up means uh, you're totally not on it and you um, fail to concentrate and you don't do it anymore. Yes, good job. Yeah, when you give up, you're, you're totally not on it, like you turned your back on it. But when you neglect something, well, what, what do you do? What is happening? Uh, you're not paying that much attention to it. Yeah, you're not exactly giving up. I mean, you're not totally stopping your studies, but you're not giving your full attention, right? Yeah. Neglecting. So, do you, do you think this word is more appropriate for what you wanted to say? Yes. Okay. And they end up neglecting their studies, right? They can't control themselves. That means their path is not successful. So, I want to ask you, what, is, what path are you talking about? So, let's highlight it again. What? Uh, uh, like... Their studying path? Their studying path. Okay, good. That's a good point. It means that social networking is interfering with their studies. That's right. But this sentence is not quite clear because a path can mean anything. Like their path to living right, path to having a peaceful life. It can mean anything, right? So... You have to make it more specific. How would you change this sentence then to make it more specific to talk about their studies? Their studies is not successful. Okay, their studies is not successful. That means, but if you were to use path though, this means, yeah, just say studies, then it will be really clear. Or you can say their path to being a successful student will be affected. Okay? So whatever you say is all right as long as you're clear about what path you're talking about. The path to being a successful student, the path to having... A Successful life, you can even say that, or you can just say studies. It's up to you. Okay? Okay. Because just saying path, it's not really clear. Okay, let's go to the third paragraph. The third paragraph, can you read it? Right. According to that, a lot of parents might have recognized those acts and have been trying to stop their children from doing that. Okay, stop. It's stop, stop it. Stop. Let's stop there and discuss it. A lot of parents might have recognized those acts and have been trying to stop their children from doing that. Okay. Okay, good. It's a good transition. I want you to be more specific with acts. Because we're talking about a lot of acts and you're on a new paragraph. So you right. need to identify what act are you talking about? Uh, so I, I know what you're talking about, but we need to make your sentence clear. So how would you change like it? Those uh, behavior of not paying attention to their studies. Okay. So how would you how would you change your sentence then? Like um, a lot of parents might have recognized those um,
Okay, I'll give you I'll give you a hint. I'm going to type it, right? I, I'll give you a hint. Uh, let's see the text. A lot of parents, a lot of parents may have noticed that. Can you can you try to finish the sentence for me? Um, a lot of parents may have noticed that their children are not paying much attention. Yes, right. A lot of parents may have noticed that their children's studies suffered after they became active on social media. What do you think about that? Right. Right? It, it becomes more specific then when you, when you say something like that. And it's important because you're on a new, you're on a new, new paragraph. Uh, okay, I'm going to type it down. A lot of parents may have noticed that their children, their children are what? That their children, their children. have been neglect. Uh, okay, what was it that you said? Uh, have been um, like not paying attention to their studies or they're being affected by social media. Okay. Okay, have, have not been paying attention or have uh, less atten... Okay, yeah, what you said was good. A lot of parents may have noticed that their children have been paying less attention to their studies when they became what? Uh, when they became active on social media. Okay, when they became active on social media. So you could write that on your notes because I'm going to erase this now. Okay, so when you say that, then the acts become more clear. And they've been trying to stop their children from doing that. So, so they're probably, okay, stop their children from doing that. Mm. So again, do you see this word? The word is, the word is that, right? What, what, yeah. kind, what kind of word is that in, uh, in grammar? I think it, uh, is it a noun, an adjective, a pronoun? What is it? That. Uh, Pronoun. Yes, you're right. It's a pronoun. Now, if you have a pronoun, the pronoun must be connected to something, uh, to a noun, to a specific noun. But here, we're not really sure what, what the pronoun that is connected to because it's too far from what you're trying to say. So I think you're talking about, their, I know that you, you want to say that they're stopping their children from being neglectful, right? Is it being neglectful of their studies or being addicted to social media? Which one? Uh, like they have been trying to stop their children from like not paying attention okay. to schoolwork. All right. Yes. So it's basically you're you're talking about a general situation. So you can say they've been trying they have been trying to to prevent. Let's use this word. What are they trying to prevent? Uh they they have been trying to prevent uh um, their their children's behavior and studies at school. Okay. All right. Now you're being more specific. But you already mentioned that in the first part of your sentence. So we just want something very simple. They've been trying to prevent this what? You could, uh, you could give me a word like this situation from happening. So this is my suggestion for you. Why, 
why would you use a word like situation to talk about what you wanted to say? Why would you use this word? Uh, like situation means uh, like what is happening to, uh, to them and uh, like uh, the, what is the whole thing about? Yes. Uh, what's it now? Yes, you're right. Because a lot of things are happening at the same time. First, they're not studying. Second, their parents don't know. Uh, a lot of parents don't know what's happening. And third, they're addicted to social media, right? So a lot of things are happening at the same time. So instead of saying those things all over again, you just say they want to stop the situation, right? They want to prevent the situation from happening. Okay? Are we clear on that, Belle? Yes. Okay, good. So please take down your notes because I have to delete this part. We don't okay. have much space on the page. It seems, though, not very useful. So I think you made a mistake here. It seems, though, not very useful because parents don't seem to realize how serious the problem was. Can you try to improve what you wanted to say there? Uh, maybe I'll add a comma and um, make the B not capital. Uh, one more time. Um, maybe I will add a comma after useful and make the B small, okay. a small B. All right. It seems, though, not very useful. So even if you put a comma in there, let's put a comma there. I want to put a comma here. The comma. Okay, so even though you put a comma there, I'm still not clear on what is being useful. What, what were you trying to say? It seems, though, not very useful. What do you mean? Uh, that it means uh, the things that the the children's parents are trying to do to prevent their children uh, from ha from doing those uh, from paying too much attention on social media. Okay, so you mean that the parents are not successful in controlling their children? Yeah. Okay. All right. The parents have been trying to prevent the situation, but it's not working. That's what you wanted to say, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can try to rephrase it like that. You can say, you can just say it's, but it's not working. Okay. Okay. But what the parents are not, but, but the problem is, whatever it is the parents are doing, it's not working, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have to change it a bit because here we don't know what useful is talking about. So we, we just go back. We're, we're going back to that situation of them preventing something and it's not effective. Because parents don't seem to realize how serious the problem was. So do you think we should say was? I'm going to highlight this verb. Should we say was or should we say is? Um, is. Yeah, is. We're, we're talking about a current situation that's still happening and we're still... Uh, investigating the different options we can take so you have to change it to the present tense parents don't seem to realize how serious the problem is busy and don't have time to take care even to talk for a long time with their children they really need to be aware now there's nothing wrong with this sentence but I want you to improve this part busy and don't have time to take care even to talk for a long time. It sounds like a fragment. It's not really a sentence. So can you correct that part? 
uh, the parents are very busy and don't have time to take care, even to talk for a long time with their children. Okay, the parents are busy. They don't have time to take care of their children, and they don't even have time to talk with them, right? To sit down and talk with them. Yeah. Okay, so we, we're just trying to improve your, your phrase a little bit. You don't even have time to sit down and talk with them. Okay. Okay, this, okay. Is, this is my suggestion. Why do you think, why do you think I, I use the term to sit down and talk? Uh, to sit down and talk means like uh, you are patient, the parents are patient with their children and they're um, like caring about them. Yes. When you're sitting down and talking with someone, it means you're giving them your undivided attention, right? Yeah. You're really paying attention to them. So you don't really need to talk with them for a long time, but you just need to be there, to sit down and talk. Okay, so this is the, the sentence that I recommend. All right, let's go, go forward. Although there are some advices. Okay, I want you to pay attention to this word. The word is advices. What do you think is wrong here? Advices. Um, advice is... Uncountable? Yes, you're correct. It's uncountable. Therefore, the correct word should be? Advice. Just advice. Okay, there's some advice of controlling people from spending much time on social network. Okay, now, now I'm lost. I don't know really what... I'm not sure about the main idea here. Okay, can you explain it to me, this sentence? Like, um, uh, although there are some um, suggestions and those controls on the social networks um, to advise you not to keep yourself on them, um, they're unlikely to help. Okay. Oh, okay, I understand. I understand. So we're talking about point number three now. The controls on social networks don't work. Okay, so I suggest that at, in this part, I want you to write something about what we discussed a while ago. Do you remember? Do you remember I asked you about how social networks make money? Yeah. A and how do they make money? Uh, they make money by, uh, like, uh making um, uh, more people to look at their so social medias and paying attention to them. Mm -hmm. So they would pay out money for them to look. Yes. Okay. The more attention users give to social media, the more money social media makes. Okay? Okay. Right? The more attention, the more addicted the user is to the social media, the more money the social network makes. That is why they are unlikely to introduce effective controls over addiction, over user addiction, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. They're not going to give you a very good, a very effective way to control your addiction because they're making money from your addiction. So I want you to make a sentence that talks about that. Okay. And can you put it in this paragraph? Right. Um, it's like, um, uh, 
you can say social media or social networks are unlikely to introduce controls for their users because can you complete it uh, for the users because uh, they're making money from from the users when they get more attention okay when they get more addicted to using the platform okay okay all right and then you can you know you can explain that a bit more if you want like add another sentence okay so children still do that they don't know how to control themselves all right this part is not really clear because again you see this word that that the pronoun it's not clear what that is pointing at so it's better if you just strike out this sentence okay mm. you, you can do away with this sentence all right so this part children still do that this is not very clear so you can just go ahead to your next sentence children can't control themselves either right right social media won't give you effective controls and and children can't control themselves either it seems it not just it seems they really are just you know they like to relax and they use social media to relax we should realize <laughs> how wrong we are so here you have the word we who are you talking about? We. Are you talking about the children? Are you talking about the parents? Are you talking the about children. the audience? The children. The children. Okay, so be specific with your pronoun. I think you should just say children. Children should realize how wrong they are. Okay? Okay. How are they going to realize how wrong they are, Belle? Uh, like, uh, they must know that um, social media is making money, like, it's making money too, because they want those students and children to look and pay attention so they get more money. And they must understand this to, like, uh, prevent themselves from getting too much uh, those attention on social media because uh, social me media uh, interested, interests them because they want to make money from them. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so now you need to say that point in a very brief way. So you, you can say something like, children should realize what? Should realize realize uh, social networks are making uh, are interested uh, interests children because they want to make money okay children should realize that social networks are making money from their addiction right Children should realize that social networks are making money from their addiction and that their future, what's going to happen to their future? Uh, if they continue uh, playing with social networks, uh, they're not going to have a good score and they don't have uh, much strength on their studies yes good if they could if they don't control their addiction their future is going to be affected right yeah okay all right good so I think you have a, a very solid essay we we just need to improve those parts that, that we discussed a while ago so after we improve the some of your phrases and sentences then we'll talk about the structure okay your organization okay. of ideas so could you
could you write this essay again? Yeah. And I then can. we'll we'll talk about your second version next time. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Okay, thank you very much, Belle, for your participation. You're a good student today. And uh, I, I want to bid you good night, and I'll see you again next time, okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Goodbye. Bye-bye.